Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. I'm recording this on May 14th, 2012, and I'm going to pick up where we left off in the last episode. Before we begin, a reminder about my Kickstarter project, Let's Code Test Driven JavaScript. For everybody who loves JavaScript, or loves to hate JavaScript, and wants to do test driven development with it, that's what it's for. Uh, check out the link, letscodejavascript.com. So, when we left off, we were doing some wild and crazy stuff, and I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> We are converting user config or file save file from being a sort of light layer over the file system to being something a little bit more deep, which is the fundamental representation of user configuration data in the system that happens to be persistible. Yeah, say that three times fast. Um, so. Uh, I have to admit, I've done something like this before. It worked out really well, and that's why I'm doing it here. Um, I don't. That was a database system. It was a much different kind of application. So who knows? Who knows? But let's go ahead and. What we're going to do is we're going to have save take the path and have the data be the sort of fundamental characteristics of the uh, of the system. So. That means that we have to pass the path in here. And we have to pass path in here. That should work. We're not using that new variable yet. It's a tricky little refactoring that we're doing here, but I think it's going to be OK. Okay, we're going to have to do something about that. Okay. Now let's modify Let's modify that path stuff. So I'm adding this new method. I'm changing this method from um, path to last save to. So, and we're gonna. I, mean, I was gonna add in some some functionality on that, but before I do that, let's um, let's just do a rename. Okay. And what is this complaining about? Nothing. That should work. But that's not the behavior I want. The behavior I want is that um, should not have value when not saved. And actually, These two are awfully similar, aren't they? Yeah. So changing the behavior here a little bit. 
feels like I'm going off into the weeds a little bit, but I think it's going to work out. That should work, I'm hoping. If nobody else depends on it. Damn. Um, yeah. We'll come back to that. Okay, that should work. It does work. This should work as well. Actually, I'm not so sure about this one. Expected that, but was null because we're not saving it. Do we even need a last save too? Yeah, are we going off into the weeds? Why do we need this information? We just need to know if it's been saved, right? We don't need to know the name of the save file. Well, actually we do need to know the name of the save file because we need to test that that's working properly in application model. Okay, so that's why we need it. So that's gonna be okay. Um, so we've got this, got that. Um, and then inside of user configuration test, We're going to want to do basically the same thing that has saved is doing, which is that we want it to not have a value if um, if there was an exception. And I think we're going to end up well. I think we're going to end up uh, sort of consolidating the implementation for these two ideas. But before we do that, last save to does not change when exception occurs. Okay. Yep. And now, easy. That should work. Yep. And then, of course, we can get rid of this has yes, saved concept entirely and just say uh, it's been saved ever. Actually, you know what? We don't need to know that anymore. As long as we have last saved to, um, I think we're good. Yeah, because here, we can just look at save file path or, or null if not saved. We'll come back to that. Playing pretty fast and loose, but I'm I'm only in the context of these two classes, and I'm I'm very much working on these right now, so I feel like that's okay. So let's see. This is last save to 
last save path, or null if never saved. You can see um, my dislike of comments coming through here. Um, needs to be documented. This makes it really obvious. Uh, so that way nobody has to go look at the comment to understand what the code does. Um, and then down here, this is actually now last save. It's really the same thing. Last save path or null if never saved. Uh, you can see a little flaw of the state-based approach here where, we, where we're ending up just passing information through. I'm hoping it will work out okay, though. So, yes, okay, we're getting closer. Um, so now we don't need this to be in here. So we can change the method signature and remove that. In fact, we can just remove the whole darn thing. It's implicit now. Hopefully that still works, fingers crossed. Okay. Now, let's pull these guys out. And the way we do that is by making these all fields. And now I'm going to do something that everybody's going to hate. I'm just going to make them public because we're going to want to get, have getters and setters on these. And semantically speaking, if you're exposing your internals through getters and setters, um, you're basically doing the same thing that publics do only with lots of li more lines of code. And boy, if I don't get hate mail on that, I'll be shocked. But um, yes, think, of it, think it through. Uh, other than the method signatures, what is the practical difference between get starting balance and set starting balance? and a public variable. So if I have get setting starting balance and set starting balance like this, if I have code like this and make this private, well, other than the fact that I've obviously made some sort of silly mistake here. Um, yeah. So I could write my code like this and make all these variables private. But my challenge for you, my question for you is, what's the difference between that and a public variable? Other than the method signature, which I don't care about because I'm not doing reflection, and six lines of code. So. I'll let you guys talk that over in the in the um, in the comments. So, okay, so I've got this here now. Um, this is complaining, right? Because I took that out. Just running out of time here. Um, where's my... Let's see if we can get this in at the last moment.
let's see, this was starting balance. No, I don't remember what it is. Save file dot cost basis. Save file dot starting balance. And save file dot yearly spending. Well, we are over time, so I've got to go. Let me just run this. Hopefully this passes. Maybe, hopefully, fingers crossedly. Okay, we'll pick up next with that next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.